Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today if you want to see how I did this look, then please continue watching. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to start off by using Maybelline's Baby Skin Primer. And I'm just going to be dotting this with little bits of product on my finger all over my face. And then I'll be blending it in with my hands. You want to make sure that you don't put too much primer on your face because when you blend it in your hands get super slippery and you have to like baby wipe your hands or just go and wash your hands because it gets super icky. <laughs> so now going in with the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in 10 Ivory, I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it in my face to really blend out the foundation so there's no streaks left behind and I'm just dotting the foundation all over my face so that I can really blend it out everywhere. I'm really enjoying this brush because I can feel quality and I know quality because the bristles are really tightly packed and they're super soft so it makes putting on makeup much more easier. And now using Maybelline's Super Stay 24 Hour Powder in 30 Sand, I'm going to be applying this on my face with the Real Techniques Powder Brush and this is so fluffy, oh it's so soft as well and it makes my face nice with the matte so yeah I like it. <laughs> After powdering my face I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's bronzer in Glam Bronze which is 06 Golden Bronze and I'll be using Real Techniques Cheek Brush from NYX Picks and I'm just going to be contouring my cheeks by putting the bronzer slightly above on and slightly underneath so basically on the cheek bone. After doing both cheeks we're going to go in with the forehead and I'm just going to be shading the forehead just right right at the top by the hairline and just making it look like I have a smaller forehead but obviously I don't but um, then after that I'm going to do the jawline and once the jawline's finished we're going to go in with the eyebrows for the eyebrows I'll be using the eyebrow pencil in shade 1 by Hema and I'm just going to be filling in my brows with the pencil and then sh brushing it out just to blend it out When doing my brows I make sure that I don't leave any harsh lines behind, I like to leave the pencil to look soft so it looks natural rather than really sharp, crayoned in, permanent markered if you get what I mean. After filling in both brows with the pencil we're going to go in with Maybelline's Brow Drama in dark brown and this is a gel so this will basically keep my eyebrows in place because my eyebrows are super rebellious like literally if I brush them in place a couple hairs are just going to pop out and just going to like destroy the moment like my eyebrows are supposed to be on fleek but if they destroy the moment I'm like why like why so I make sure that I really put on a lot of product just to keep them where they should be After gelling down both brows we're going to go in with Avon's primer and this is in light beige and I'm going to be putting this all over my eyelids just to keep everything in place once I put the eyeshadow on. And now going in with this eyeshadow palette, which is the Eyes Like Angels palette from Makeup Revolution. I'll be using the colour Aqua Dream and I'll be putting this all over my eyelid and just bringing it up to where I want it. So I want it to go slightly above my brow bone. And this brush is a small eyeshadow brush, which is from the Bundle Monster collection, which I got off of Amazon. Now taking NYX Picks Real Techniques brush, which is the base shadow brush, I'm just using that to bring it up a little bit more and I feel like it spreads a little bit more product than the really tightly packed eyeshadow brush. Now for the darker colour, I'll be using Green Dream. It, it really isn't green, it's actually blue, but that's what they named it. So I'm going to be taking Green Dream and I'm just going to be putting this on the outer V of my eyes so 
on my brow bone and I'm just shading this towards the inner corner of my eye. So I'm bringing it towards the inner part of my eyes. But I want to shade it to give it like this definition of like a smoky eye. And I'm just using the Real Techniques Dulux Crease Brush just to blend out and soften the edges of the green dream that I just put on because I feel like it's a bit too sharp and it just needed a little bit of blending. And now I'm just adding more intensity to the outer corner, just giving it some more blue, a darker blue, because I want it to look like a gradient, so there would be light blue and then darker blue, so it is practically a blue smoky eye. After both eyes are done, we're going to go in with a eyeshadow brush and this is quite big and I'll be taking Green Dream and I'll be putting this on my lash line and I'll be bringing that to the middle and then I'll be taking a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'll be taking Aqua Dream and I'll be connecting that to the middle. Now taking Barry M's Cold Pencil, this is basically a normal black one but it's just got glitter in it and I'll be putting this on my waterline. For the eyeliner, I'll be using Maybelline's 24 hour gel eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this with the Barry M eyeliner brush. When doing eyeliner, I usually take quite a lot of product on the brush but not too much because if you don't put enough, then it kind of drags on your eyes but if you put a lot, I feel like it can kind of smudge everywhere and I don't really want that. So just enough so that it's not too much and not too little. The way I start off a flick is by basically looking at the joint between my lids, so right at the corner and I flick it right from the middle of the joint between my eyes. Now taking eyelash curlers, we're just going to curl our lashes and get them prepared for mascara and fake eyelashes. I'll be using Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara and I'm just going to be putting a slight layer of mascara on just to get them ready for the fake lashes. Now taking Ardell's black brown 886 lashes, these are called chocolatey lashes, um, I'm just going to be putting these on my lash line, making sure they're stuck on well so they don't fall off while I'm like blinking or anything. It took me a while to understand how to put on lashes by myself. I mean, I'm okay at putting them on people, but putting it on myself, I found it so hard, but I feel like I'm getting better and better every time I practice, so make sure you practice a lot. Now I'm just applying another layer of mascara on my real and fake lashes just to make them look natural. I didn't really like the way that mascara was on my bottom lashes so now I'm using Clinique's high impact mascara on my bottom lashes because I feel like it actually puts mascara on my bottom lashes rather than brushing through them. Now taking Makeup Revolution's blush palette which is called Sugar and Spice, I'll be taking the first colour and I'll be using Makeup Revolution's blush brush and I'll be putting this on my cheeks. After the blush, I'll be using the highlighter from this palette and I'll be taking this really light champagne colour and I'll also be taking the Raw Techniques 
contour brush just to put it at the top of my cheeks, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin and a little on my forehead. Highlight does make a lot of difference. When I take pictures in the mirror and I put highlight on, it just completely changes the look of my face. So highlight really does make a difference. Now we're going subtle on the lips. So I'm using Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in 260 My Eternity. I love applying lip gloss because it goes on so easily. Ah, uh, I love lip gloss. And here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you darlings in my next. Thanks for watching. Thank you.